Hi, today I'm going to talk about the new uh, feature or the button I added here. Uh, so basically, if you want to search the text, let's say uh, this is how it works, flutter, right? If I want to search flutter, okay. So I have three hits. So this is right now showing number one. So it's highlighting here. So you can go to next one. It's showing here, next one here, right? So that's all three. Then we can go back. So if you want to clear it, I mean, just, I mean, if you don't have any hit, uh, let's see, I mean, s right now this is case sensitive. So if you search flutter, you don't have any hit. Or if you only have one hit, because this is actually part of the div here. Okay, uh, I'm, I'll quickly talk about the how this is implemented. So I added a search button on the toolbar. Um, uh, most, uh, I think most fundamentally, uh, how we added a function in the Creo controller. Uh, what we call is the search function, okay? So this search function is quite easy as you, if you know the document structure. Uh, so basically under the root, the node can be either line or block. If it's block, the block has children of multiple lines. So we basically want to search on the line here so for the line, basically we are using the, we're passing the pattern, right? Basically we call index off. We just keep searching, do a string match. And for then we find the index, okay? So basically uh, the, the index basically is the offset. Okay, so the, the function is quite uh, uh, straightforward. You just iterate the, the root uh, or every line, basically. Go through every line, try to match, right? Okay. So this function return a list of all the offsets so that match the pattern. Okay. So now we have this. Uh, actually, we can just change this because I moved this to controller. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I mean, this is exposed in controller as well. So yeah, uh, right now we basically, uh, so if we move it to controller, maybe we don't even need this in I mean, if we move this to the document, maybe we don't need this in the controller, right? So uh, we can just go to document to search. Yeah, I mean, then we, I mean, we just have less method in the controller since I'm directly calling the document. So this is the search button. Uh, it's kind of like all the other button, like with different icon, uh, which is uh, like a magnifier. Then uh, the, we basically, generate a dialog. A little bit different is uh, uh, because I want to show the button change here uh, or here. So basically when when you make a change, hmm, when you make a change, right? Let's see here. So the button disappear, the OK, OK button disappear. If I do a uh, G, so OK, 22 match. So this, so this button are changing, right? Uh, because uh, so because to, uh, in order to do that, I have the stateful builder here. So that uh, every time it changes, I can call, because here you can pass in a set state. So every time it changes, uh, let's say the text change, right? So I can change the state. Uh, okay, so this is not a good example, uh, maybe here. Uh, in action, right? Because those buttons are basically actions. And uh, if it changes, I can change the state, right? So when you press the button, I can change the state so that uh, I can control some button showing or not, right? So if you want to show the previous button, I mean, you the index have to be bigger than zero, right? Uh, if it's already zero, I mean, you don't need to show the prep, right? Same reason, the index need to be less than the, the last one. Otherwise, uh, we should not be showing the next button, right? So once you press the, we move the position because we check the index. Uh, when we call search here, when you call uh, OK, OK here, we actually call the search function and it return a list. Oh, I probably should de delete this one. It's debug print. So uh, debug print the offset, right? So here, uh, here it means basically uh, it, it basically, I mean, we, we talk this function, right? So 
uh, it will show all the if we still have the wrong here uh, yes so it actually shows those index or the offset right when you it matches okay so there are a lot of warning here because uh, for the translation so you can see if I search for something it return the in, uh, if it's empty right uh, I mean if it didn't have any uh, match it return okay let me clear this let me do it again since I haven't okay let's do this again let's say flutter okay so here you see here so this is the three match right three index so three match so basically uh, here uh, also I have another variable uh, okay sorry here so here when we move move to the position basically we call update selection so that it will sh uh, highlight this you see uh, right now only tap the FLU like flu here right uh, flu here right here so uh, also the index will be changing like uh, every time if you go to if you press uh, next uh, a previous we we minus the index right if you press next we plus the index so basically it's the index for the offset right so we know we, uh, which one we go to yeah so that's uh, pretty much for it so it's easy to implement uh, this uh, search button okay you can try it out thank you